This AI writing tool might be my favorite option right now for creating SEO optimized blog posts at scale. So guys, in this video, I'm gonna do a complete review of SEO writing AI, tell you what I like, what I don't like, and I'm also gonna show you how you can generate a blog post step-by-step -step using this AI writing tool. So be sure to stick around to the very end. So if this is your first time to the channel, welcome. My name is Ryan. I appreciate you being here as my mission is to help you navigate the overwhelming world of artificial intelligence. And if you want to know what my favorite AI tools and prompts that I'm using for marketing and content creation, be sure to get my free AI marketing essentials guide. You can find the link for this below this video. But now let's get back into this complete review of SEO writing AI. So for full transparency, guys, I've been using SEO writing AI for over a year now. I've tested dozens of the most popular AI writing tools available from Jasper before ChatGPT was even released, from Writer to Write Sonic, which I actually do like Write Sonic, and I need to make a review on that one in the future. But the point I'm trying to make is that I've used a ton of different AI writing tools, and I found not only are my results better with SEO writing AI, I just like like the user interface and I think it's a very fair price point for what you get. So I'm about to dive into all of that and more. So if you're curious about some of the work that I produced using SEO writing AI, I would suggest going to my website, AIinsidertips.com, and you guys can start reading some of these blog posts. Most of these were generated with the help of SEO writing AI, and I've also used this for several of my marketing clients. This one being in the dental IT space, I rank high for various long tail keywords. I have the featured snippet there. This one's a more localized search that I've used SEO writing AI to generate content for. But regardless, those are just very quick examples I just want to show you guys that I've actually used this tool to not just create content, but high quality content that can rank. Now, the first thing I want to dive into here for this SEO writing AI review is pricing. When it comes to pricing for AI writing tools, I've seen it span anywhere from $15, $20 a month, sometimes upwards of $50, $60, $70 a month for AI writing tools. Now, if you visit SEO writing AI's website, and I'll leave a link to this and everything else that I mentioned in the video description below, and you click on price you'll see here what the pricing is that they currently offer. So it's $19 a month for the starter plan. That gets you 50 articles, and this is on the month-to-month -month plan. But what I really like about this is they offer a free plan, up to five articles a month, up to 10,000 words. There are several AI writing tools that do not offer free trials or even monthly free plans like SEO Writing AI. And if you do the yearly, you get 25% off, so you can get $14 a month. That breaks it down to now. I am on the annual plan for transparency. I'm on the starter annual plan. And I also have a coupon code that I'll leave in the description below. I actually use that myself to get a better rate. Don't tell them that, of course, but I use it myself to get a better rate on this annual starter plan. Now you also get a humanizer tool, which is new. You get a brand voice, which is one of the new features that I'm going to discuss bulk generation, you get access to not even Claude three Opus, you get other versions of Claude models, you get other GPT models, you get WordPress integration and outline editor, you could go to this professional plan if you wanted to. I just think for most people, if I were you, I would start on the month to month starter plan. That way, if you don't like it, you can just cancel it right there. And if you like it, you can simply upgrade to the annual plan for that 25% discount. But in terms of the actual pricing itself, I think this is a pro when, when talking about SEO writing AI. I just think for what you get, you get more bang for your buck in terms of article generation for the amount of words and articles versus what you would see on a Jasper, a Copy AI, a Blaze, a Write Sonic, right? Some of those are around the same price point, but most of them cost more. And there's always these like hidden gimmicks of you running out of your word usage quickly and just things of that nature. And if you don't believe me, do some research on your own here. But I do think this is a pro when it comes to SEO writing AI is its pricing. Now, the next thing I want to look at is user interface. So if you sign up for just a subscription or even the free plan to SEO writing AI, this is what your interface looks like. As you'll see, I'm on the dashboard right here. So right here, we have one click blog post, bulk article generation, humanizer tool, and there's all these other options down here for product roadmaps, review, editor, how-to guide, workflow, et cetera, et cetera, your plan, latest documents. But honestly, guys, if you're using this tool, what you really should use in my opinion, is just this one-click blog post option. This is the best option by far, as I wouldn't even recommend going down this rabbit hole of all these other ones. You can try bulk article generation, and I've definitely used that before. I've just noticed that the quality 
believe the outputs when you're bulk generating content with AI are far less superior than what you would get with a one-click blog post like it has here. So now exploring the top menu really quickly here. We have our dashboard, obviously. Now we have Builder. So these are all the different articles that I've written on SEO Writing AI. 17 pages worth, it looks like. So yeah, that's page two. So yeah, 17 pages, guys, I've used for SEO Writing AI articles. Documents, same sort of deal, just a different interface with more details. This is a recent update from SEO Writing AI called Brand Voice, where you can essentially add your own writing tone. You'll see I've done that here. Um, and you can do that as well in your content if you're on the starter or the higher tier. I think it's called the pro tier. Um, so definitely do that. If you click what's new, this lists all the different updates that SEO Writing AI is making, right? So here's the brand voice one that I just mentioned. Um, if you scroll down, they have one with linking, deep web content, so internal, external links, browsing the web. They launched a humanizer tool in September, a uh, syndication feature in September. So this tool is frequently updating its platform, which I enjoy as a user. And what's also really cool, if you click roadmap on top, this gives you full transparency to what the team at SEO Writing AI is working on from planned, in progress, to complete. Now you can come in here and add your own request if there's something you want fixed, like a bug or a feature you want added to SEO Writing AI. You can do that right here. This is fully transparent, which I think is really cool to see. You can click Create New, that takes you to the dashboard. And then here's all the account settings. The only thing I wanna mention here are integrations. So you can actually integrate SEO Writing AI directly with your WordPress site through a plugin. It's very simple to do it. You can also integrate your API keys through OpenAI or Anthropic to get Claude models. I'm gonna talk about that here towards the end, but that's cool that you can have some of these integrations here. So those are some of the other features and just wrapping up this whole uh, point on overall user interface. I do like the user interface presented by SEO Writing AI. I think it's very simple, they're very transparent, and it's also very easy to use. So now instead of me just continuing to talk about this tool, let's put it in action. So from the home screen, what I wanna do is click one click blog post. And again, this is the one I would recommend that you use for creating high quality SEO optimized blog posts is the one click blog post. So right here we have our main keyword, our title, our core settings, brand voice, details, media hub, SEO. There's all these different steps and I really like the way they lay this out to generate the highest quality blog post possible. So let's start here with the main keyword and I'm gonna go through all of these step by step. And in this example, I'm just gonna do something like, uh, let's do best AI tools for marketing. So my main keyword is going to be AI tools for marketing. And after you have your keyword, what's really cool is we can actually use this to generate a title. So I'm gonna click generate title and it just generated a title right there. I don't necessarily like that. I just like how it has the option. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do five best AI tools for marketing. Uh, let's do complete guide or let's do 2024 guide. That'll be my title right there. And obviously we could change that to do whatever we want. We could do 2024 um, beginner's guide however we wanna do it to make the best SEO title possible. Now for course settings, I'd recommend doing this English US. This obviously depends where you're located. For article size, honestly, I would recommend using small. It's 1200 to 1200 to 2400 words, five to eight H2 headings. I think medium and large are purely overkill for something like this. Word count, you know, it's debated whether it is a ranking factor or not, but for with 1200 words, I mean, there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to rank for most long tail keywords. So now we come down here, tone of voice. What I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna leave this as, let's do professional, point of view. I wanna do first person singular, target country. Let's do United States. Uh, for AI model, this one's really important because some of these will take your usage limits more than others. I usually leave this on Anthropic, Claude 3 Hayaku, or GPT-40 Mini and GPT-40. So it depends what you can do, right? So you see there's a quality meter. These are lower quality technically, but they do cost less. So the quality differential is not a lot in my opinion. If I try Claude 3 Opus, I'm only gonna be able to generate, right? 10X word count, 10 generations. Where if I have GPT-40, one generation and one X word count. So it's 10X the cost to use Claude 3 Opus. I don't really think something like that's gonna move the needle. So what I would do is just leave it, let's just do, Anthropic Claude 3 Haiku. They actually just had a recent update. So I'm gonna leave it on that. You can also enable your API keys if you want. I'm gonna show you that towards the end. And then for humanized text, I'd recommend just leaving it at eighth and ninth grade. 
Now for brand voice, I had a brand voice already created for myself, for Ryan Dozer. You can create one if you don't already have one. You get one on the starter plan. So I'm gonna include my brand voice here. Now details to include. This is actually very important depending on what type of article that we're writing. And so what we can do in, in this example, I can say something like, um, for the best AI tools for marketing, be sure to include the following. And so then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk about, see if I can type, ChatGPT plus Claude Pro, perplexity, Actually, I'm gonna get rid of the pro. We're just gonna do ChatGPT, Claude, Perplexity. Let's do Opus Clip. Uh, what's another good AI tool for marketing? Let's do, uh, let's do Notebook LM. So we'll start there, right? Obviously, you can add as many details here as you want. I'm just gonna start here by letting it know that these are the five AI tools that I wanted to talk about. Actually, let's do SEM Rush. That's more of a, a marketing tool. And so now we'll scroll down. So Media Hub, so you have the option to generate images if you want. I actually sometimes don't even do this. The only thing I would do, I mean, at a bare minimum, is I would recommend generating a cover image using AI. It just takes more of your credits, the more images that you generate. So right here, you can do photo, cartoon. I would just leave it at photo um, for size. I usually like to do, let's see here, 1280 by 704, 1024, 1024. I usually leave it at something like that. Uh, you can obviously do whatever you want. Actually, let's just put it back to this. You can add additional creative instructions if you wanna do that. Uh, you can enter a brand name, you don't have to do that. I would leave this checked, include the main keyword in the first image as alt text. YouTube videos, I would not include a YouTube video unless it's your own. Um, so I'm gonna click no. And this is where we can add more keywords. Now you can do NLP keyword generation. This will generate more keywords to include in your content. Um, so you can do that. I mean, some of these aren't too bad, right? Um, but we could do like, you know, top AI tools for marketing, top AI tools for SEO, just more long tail keyword variations. This actually left a pretty good one here for these nine different keywords. I'm gonna leave it at that. Uh, you can do a structure. So enter the type of hook for the article's opening sentence. Uh, let's do, let's just do a question. So you can do a question here. I like how it has these little prompt generators. You can do a quote, story, personal or emotional. Um, I wanted, I always like to keep a conclusion. Uh, tables, I'm kind of hit and miss on. Italics, let's do no, quotes, no, bold, no. Sometimes it overdoes the bolding, it overdoes the italicis or italics, however you say it. So I don't always like to have this. I like key takeaways, I like FAQs. Um, I don't want quotes, I want H3s. Uh, lists, I don't know. I mean, we can leave that on for now. I don't necessarily want tables, let's turn that off. So let's leave that on for now. And so when it comes to internal and external linking, unfortunately here, if I try to add my website, it says I have to be on the professional plan. I am only on the starter plan. I pay for annually with the starter plan. So I do not have access to this, but not to worry. I have a separate tutorial showing how you can automate internal and external links using ChatGPT. And I'll leave a link to that in the video description below. So this is nothing to stress about or not worth upgrading to a higher tiered plan in my opinion. When it comes to connecting to the web, this is a really good feature offered by SEO Writing AI. I would click yes for source links. This is where it's gonna source those links at the bottom of an article. I would recommend just having the URL. You can always remove it before you publish. Citations I would leave on, yes. Uh, search source, I would do real-time search if you're doing a news article. I wouldn't recommend using this tool at all for news articles, but more on that at the end of this video. I would just leave it on real-time search. You can add URLs if you wanna add specific URLs to reference. Just leave it on real-time search. Put yes for citations. Again, you can remove those if you want later. For source date, I would just do last year. That's probably good enough if it's scraping the web in real time. And then exclude URLs, just leave this as no. Now for syndication, create marketing materials based on the article for various platforms. So this is cool, it can syndicate or repurpose that long form article into other forms of content. This was a recent update they rolled out as well. So I'm just gonna try it here, right? So let's do a short thread on Twitter. Let's do a LinkedIn post. I don't want a Facebook post. Sure, we could add an email newsletter, no WhatsApp message, no Pinterest, link to page. So no link, this is new too. No link will be used in creation of marketing materials. I'm just gonna do no link. 
Uh, you can do what's called an outline editor. So if you want to enable the outline editor, you can get more sophisticated and more detailed of how you want this article to look like in terms of the outline. I'm actually going to not check this. I just, I'm not a fan of using something like that. And this is cool, right? I mentioned integrations earlier. You can publish this straight to your website through that WordPress integration. So if I click the drop down, you'll see that I've added my WordPress site on this, uh, on SEO writing AI. I'm going to put it as a post. I'd recommend putting it in draft mode. I wouldn't recommend just publishing it straight from the integration. And if I scroll down, we have the different categories. So uh, this would be AI tools. Uh, let's see if I have one for marketing. So let's just do those for now. Auto tag, I'm actually not going to generate tags at all. Author, so this, I'm the author. Uh, URL, use main keyword and URL slug. We definitely want to do that. Add first image as featured image. Add meta description to excerpt field. You can do that as well. Again, you can tweak this or fine tune this however you want. But that is as quick as I could going through the one click uh, blog post creation. And then when you're finally done, you want to come up to the top here and click run. And so while it's doing that, I'm going to skip ahead and then come back after this article is finally complete. All right, so my article is now complete and that took maybe two minutes, maybe a little less. You'll notice here it automatically integrated with my website. So if I click that, I wonder, yeah, it's gonna give me the preview post. So that's kind of cool, I can do it right there. So that's what it looks like on my website. It's not published, it's in draft mode. Um, I'm just showing you what that integration looks like. So if we come into here, we can click it and this is what the output looks like once an article is done generating. Now, what I like right away is it gives you the word count under 2000 words, that's what I wanted. The title, uh, the introduction, I think this image actually isn't terrible. I believe it's either Flux One, maybe Dolly Three, I'm not sure about that. And then on the right hand side, you can toggle citations and source links. If I scroll down, I noticed I probably went overboard on citations here. So what you can do is toggle this and that removes all the citations if you wanna copy and paste paste it into your WordPress site and that way it removes all the citations. And if I scroll to the bottom, this gives me 18 different sources that were used to create this article. You can toggle source links off, that way they don't show up there anymore either. Um, but this is kind of a cool little feature here that they have. But this is the article guys, the intro, key takeaways, giving me five bullet points here, um, some background info, it broke it up by category. We have top platforms, so it gives me the top platforms. Uh, content creation optimization tools, uh, so AI powered social media, email marketing, uh, FAQs like I asked for, et cetera, et cetera. So again, this isn't perfect. This isn't a silver bullet. And I'm not saying this article in particular will rank for that keyword. I've just seen articles that I've written with SEO writing AI rank for long tail keywords in different niches. It's not a guarantee. There's all these YouTubers that say, just plug it into an AI tool. It'll rank one overnight, da, 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 right? I'm not saying that that's gonna happen. This is not a guarantee, not a silver bullet. The worst case scenario, this gives you a good first draft where you can come in here and tweak some things, right? Maybe you want a different tool. Maybe you want to format this a little differently. Add some internal external links, add some images in here. This gives you an amazing first draft versus trying to do it yourself, outsourcing a content writer, shotgunning it on ChatGPT or Claude, right? This gives you a very good rough first draft that we can use to finalize and polish to create a high quality SEO optimized article. Now this is all great, right? But again, like I just mentioned, SEO writing AI and all AI writing tools are not a silver bullet. So let me dive into some things that I don't like in the platform that I hope that they will improve over time. If we go back into one click blog post, one thing that I do not like about this tool is if you're doing anything related to news content, like news articles, this is not the tool for that. You're better off using Claude or ChatGPT re-spinning an existing news article that works. Now you could definitely use this humanizer tool to re-spin content in your own brand voice. That's an option. But honestly, guys, SEO writing AI definitely lacks when it comes to news articles. Another area where it lacks, in my opinion, refers to images. You are very limited for what you can do for AI image generation inside this tool, right? It doesn't give you an option of if you want to use DALI, Flux One, any other AI image generation models. Plus, we can come over to tools like PicLumen or even the Bing Image Creator where we can generate 
it, high quality AI images with Dolly 3 with Flux 1 inside Picklumen, we can generate cover images for free using these tools. Plus, the images will take more of your credit. So I'd only recommend doing one image per blog post. I would not recommend doing more than that. And then just using these free AI image generators to kind of supplement that. I just think that there are definitely some things that they can do inside here. Maybe toggle between AI image models. Maybe make it where the images don't take as much of your credits as they do right now, right? It does add up if you do a lot of images. AI image generation in here. So I think that's definitely an area where they can improve compared to other tools or even other free options out there is AI images. And the last point I want to make, I think this is very important. I need to be completely honest with you guys. And I try to be in all of my reviews. If you are well versed in chat GPT and you understand how to build custom GPTs from scratch and put all the proper custom instructions, upload knowledge, how to properly prompt these things. Same with Claude. If you understand how to build a Claude project, give it the custom instructions, properly prompt Claude inside a project, there is no need for an AI writing tool like SEO Writing AI. Remember, if we come in here, it's using Claude and OpenAI's models in the background and then kind of guiding you step by step on crafting the highest quality article possible optimized for your keyword. But the thing is, if you understand how to use a custom GPT, you could do the exact same thing in here and the same thing with Claude. The only thing to call out with Claude is it cannot browse the internet or analyze URLs in real time. I like the actual copy and content creation of Claude. And by the way, guys, I do have tutorials on how you can create Claude projects. I also have a recent tutorial on how you can build a custom GPT that sounds like you step by step. So again, just to reiterate, if you are well versed in chat GPT, you understand how to build custom GPTs and use them efficiently, and you understand how to build Claude projects and use those efficiently, there is no need for an AI writing tool like SEO writing AI. The kicker is most people are beginners to AI, and so this tool does cater to a lot of people who don't know how to dive into GPTs or Claude projects to get desired outputs. Now, there's definitely a lot more I could cover with SEO Writing AI, but I don't want to make a half hour or 60 minute YouTube review. So for the purposes of this, I just dove into the most important points that I thought. Now, I want to hear what you guys have to say in the comments below. Are you a user of SEO Writing AI? Are you willing to try it? Are there any other AI writing tools that you enjoy? Be sure to let me know in the comments. But if you've made it this far, I really appreciate you being here. Be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you found value, and you want to see more reviews of AI writing tools just like this in the future. But most importantly, guys, I hope you all have a great day.